everyone, Melissa here. Today I'm going to be starting in on some um, more wintry designs. I have had a few requests in my Facebook group, so I'm going to be starting with one of the first ones. This one was actually requested, I think, a couple months ago, or maybe a month ago. I don't know what time is anymore. Um, but this is the design that was requested by uh, Katie Sipra. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Um, and it is beautiful. There's a lot going on in it. I'm not going to be doing all of the elements of this design. I'm going to be simplifying it for myself just because that's the way I like it. But I absolutely love the nail with the kind of sweater, um, sweatery design with the glitter on it. And I happen to have the perfect colors to do this. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using Dapper from Double Dipped. It's just this beautiful pale kind of bluish gray. Um, Storm from Cascade Color Works. Yes, I'm mixing brands today just because it was absolutely necessary. These colors go so well together. And um, then I'm also going to be using the Virgo and Gem Advent Calendar Day 7 color. Um, that's actually what the day is today while I'm recording this. Um, it is probably my favorite so far. It means this gorgeous kind of charcoal silver um, glitter and it's going to be beautiful and I'm going to sugar it and I'm very excited. I also wanted to do a very small uh, update on my 10k giveaway. It is still coming. I know it's taking some time but it, it I'm still waiting on a couple more packages. As soon as I have them I will have a video uh, with entry so you can enter in the comments and then um, I will also announce when the live is going to be at that time. So it will all come together soon. I'm going to try not to make it right in the middle of the holidays so people can be there, you know, in case you have a lot of holiday plans. So if it has to be at the beginning of the year, it will be at the beginning of the year, but we'll plan it. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I've got my nails um, prepped with my builder gel and my peel base. I'm just going to be dipping the solid colors down so far because I'm going to sugar this. Um, I'm going to sugar the glitter. So underneath the sugar, I'm going to put the darker gray and then I'm going to sugar the glitter on top. Okay, now that I've got those colors on, um, I'm going to activate and file these. I do have one less dip on both of these nails because they were going to have um, a little bit extra of like detail on top. This one's going to have the sugar, this one's going to have the design, so I want there to be less bulk. So once I add on, they're not as thick. Um, and also, now that I've put these solids down together, I'm starting to kind of rethink what I want to do and I might end up sugaring this nail with the glitter also. So we're gonna file it down a little bit extra. I'll see um, how I feel. I'll probably start on this end and then see how it looks and then make the decision on that. Nail last. Uh, this is one of those designs that I did not practice on a swatch. This is gonna be one of those, um, you, know, you know, just just hope that I get it right kind of designs. So I'm gonna go ahead, activate and file, and then we will get into the sweater nail. All right, now I'm going to put a gel matte top coat. I'm gonna to be doing the design over the top of a matte top coat for this. Um, I am not gonna be doing a layer of gel base underneath it simply because the, um, the double dipped matte top coat that I use, I don't find that it peels off. I haven't had that problem. If you have the issue where your matte top coat does peel off of your dip powder, I would put a gel base down first. Alright, I'm going to cure that for 
60 seconds. Okay, so now I've got that nice matte surface. I'm actually going to be using the matte top coat to draw the lines on as well. That way if I have to straighten out the line or do anything and there's a little bit like excess on the outside of the line I straighten up, it's going to also cure matte and you're not going to have little shiny spots. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of the matte top coat here and find the center. I'm just going to pour this over and I'm going to use this uh, the scraper end here to kind of straighten that line out. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and cure it. Okay, I kind of feel like the line needs a little bit more of a pop of sparkle. It's It didn't quite absorb as much as I wanted it to. I'm gonna use just a little bit of um, a regular gel base just over the top of that line a little bit to grab a little bit more glitter. Alright, there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the lines for the little sweater nail part of it. So I'm going to grab my dapper back. Okay, so I'm just doing a little small line down here. Okay, now I got that side drawn on. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the powder over and then cure that. All right, so that nail is done. Now I'm going to do this sugar nail, so I'm gonna go ahead and buff her smooth. I'm just going to use a gel base for this, make it nice and simple. And, you know, actually, I think I am liking it with the dark gray nail. I was thinking I might want to change it to sugar, but I I don't think so. I think I like it like this. Although, who knows? I may change my mind if I end up with two sugar nails in the thumbnail. Don't blame me. <laughs> yes, I'm indecisive. Okay, so I'm going to buff the heck out of these and smooth them out so that I can do a matte top coat over the top. Usually I'll finish with a tip top. Actually, yes, I'm going to do that because that's my favorite way to do matte top coat is to finish with a dip top and then file it smooth because that dip, cut, dip top really levels that nail surface beautifully and then once you buff it smooth, a yeah, nice really smooth surface to apply the matte top coat to. So I'm going to buff these first.
All right, and there is the finished uh, design. I love these. Kate, thank you, Katie, for the uh, suggestion. These are definitely beautiful, wintry. They are so much fun, um, and it was a lot of fun to do the design. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, as always, for joining me. Um, I will have more, a few more winter designs coming up. Uh, nothing too Christmassy, because I don't do a lot of real Christmassy designs, but um, I'm in my own way, I guess. But yes, uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.